Welcome back, everybody. It's time to get back to Victory at Sea Pacific. I am really overwhelmed at how popular the first video was. I really wasn't expecting that. Almost 10,000 views in the first three and a half days. Uh, that's one of the better performing new videos that I've done for a series. So that means you guys want to see more of this. Now, I will say once again up front to those of you who may be new to this channel or didn't hear the first episode, which is a link in the description below, by the way, if you want to see the first episode, I am brand new at this game and I am going to mess up. Mistakes will be made, but I appreciate all the great advice you've given me so far, and I continue to solicit that advice step-by-step uh, step along the way. Please talk me through what you would do and what you see. I'm um, gonna try to take some of the advice you gave me and apply it to this episode. One of the greatest comments I had was somebody said, the commander of the USS Craven has the greatest name I've ever seen. And you're looking at it here, Commander Charles Fenton Mercer Spotswood Quinby. Well, that's a real guy, and that was his real name. He actually represented the United States in the Summer Olympics in, I think, 1920 uh, in swimming. Uh, he's a real guy. <laughs> so uh, quite a mouthful, that name. But he only actually commanded the USS uh, Craven until, I think, uh, mid-December of 1941, just after Pearl Harbor, and then he left. So, uh, all right, let's dive back into this. Let's go ahead and take a look at where we are with everything. All right, so we've got this enemy fleet that is uh, just two light cruisers, and they're headed toward one of my bases out in the Aleutian Islands. So we're going to actually give them uh, an order to attack that those couple of light cruisers. I don't know if we can do it with these five torpedo boats and whatever planes we have, but we're certainly going to give it a try. Now I've got somebody down here giving me some kind of a heads up about something. I don't know where that is. I'm assuming it's down. Okay, so we have combat going on with Task Force 5, which is just that uh, one single submarine. USS Drum, which I've actually ordered to return to port, refit, and uh, we're going to get them put in with somebody else. I don't want them way out there in enemy territory all by themselves at the moment. Somebody pointed out that I not do the upgrade for my Atlanta that I'm building over here in San Diego, so we're going to go ahead and do that for 35 war bonds. We could also upgrade the Yorktown class carrier that we're building with advanced radar plus nine damage plus 11 anti-aircraft and plus five kilometers to AA range for 105. That seems worth it as well so we're going to go ahead and finish that up and it looks like those are almost completed. All right looks like our defense force has engaged the enemy up here near these islands. I don't know that we need to actually fight that I'm just kind of curious to see how they do on their own. Oh, they're out of ammunition. Yeah, it looks like it's not really going so well. Oh, we lost the defense force. Okay. So not so good. I don't know if taking control of them personally would have made a difference, but it was just those five torpedo boats that we lost. So I guess lesson learned there. Enemy vessels have been spotted in the North Pacific. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we're dealing with here. Four cruisers headed toward Midway. I hope that is not the beginning of a larger force. We do have uh, Task Force 12 headed that direction, but they're a ways away still. Uh, so I don't know who else we've got in the area. We've actually got a tanker uh, squadron headed that way. Yeah, definitely nobody that's going to be close enough to Midway to be able to do much about that right now. So taking a look here at Pearl Harbor's shipyard, we've got the build queue. We've got a Northampton class heavy cruiser as well as an Omaha light cruiser. Uh, we've got the Pennsylvania, Maryland, Tennessee, Chandler, and Hovey all uh, in dock. We could actually go ahead and add some upgrades to some of those ships as well. Uh, this Clemson class destroyer would only cost 10 war bonds to add radar and sub hunter which seems like that's definitely worth it. We'll do that to this one as well. I don't think we'll add the upgrade to the Pennsylvania. Okay, so uh, I issued an attack order, and Tax Force 12 is requesting permission to launch an aircraft against Japan. We're going to say yes. I guess we're in range uh, to be able to hit. I didn't think we'd be in range that far out uh, to be able to hit these guys, but it looks like we are. I guess we'll see what happens with that. This is all new to me. So looks like Midway is also launching squadrons against these guys. I don't know if we can actually get into this combat or not. Let's take a look. 
Okay, it's nighttime and it does look like we're able to, so uh, let's slow things down just a little bit. All right, so here we go. Looks like we got a couple of flights of dive bombers. Nighttime attack. I'm not sure how this is gonna fare, although maybe it'll be morning by the time we actually get there. Go ahead and speed things up a little bit for now. We got B-17s out there too. That's kind of cool. So there's all four ships. Looks like we already caused some damage to at least one of them. And this is definitely going to be a nighttime attack. All right. I guess it probably makes them makes it harder for them to see us too. A couple of good hits, we ought to be able to finish this guy off here. Yikes. Who are you guys even aiming at? The guy's already passed you. Yeah, that was terrible. They dropped it way behind him. I guess that's nighttime attack for you. Let's take a look at this this flying fortress. Where are they at? Yeah, I don't know how they're going to be able to see anything at all. Uh, now we're getting into daytime. All right, he's almost there. This is an awfully long way up to be hitting. Those kind of ships with a bomb. Looks like we missed terribly again. I want to get a look at these guys. Let's slow things down a little bit. So we've got an Aoba cruiser. Uh, is the cruiser? What else? Do, what are the other ones? Oh, we've lost sight of them now. Here's the guy. One of the guys we hit. We didn't hit him much though. All right. So that didn't go so well thus far anyway. Now here's my squadron coming in from Task Force 12 from the carrier. A much bigger squadron. They're going to be attacking in daytime. I feel like the odds are going to be much more in our favor this time around. I don't know if we should be issuing specific orders to each of these guys or just let them do their own thing. I'm watching the, I guess this is the fuel range and it looks like halfway they're not quite there so they do have, have these guys in range. I'm gonna try to hit the the ones that are furthest out, left and right, rather than going for the ones in the middle. I'm hoping maybe that helps a little bit with the AA fire. I guess we'll see. Go ahead and go up to regular speed. Actually, we'll speed it up a little bit until they get ready for their attack. Okay, let's watch this happen. Hope this goes better than the ones from Midway did. Oh 
always hit him. Oh, you could tell they were good. Oh, they hit him. Yes. Oh, they lit him up. Very nice. How are we doing on the guy in the rear? Hit him too. Nice job, boys. We sank that one. Is it sunk? It is. Bye bye That's one down. That's one severely damaged. We've already got one that's got some moderate damage. Oh, that's nice. Happy with that. So Saratoga is ready out in San Diego. So we're going to go ahead and get her sent out to Pearl for repair and resupply. That's Task Force 6. That's just Saratoga and then the Concord. Let's see how things are coming with any other ships. We've got Yorktown, a class carrier that is not quite complete there. We've got the Atlanta with them, and we'll wait for those two to complete, and we'll send them out together. Uh, can we go ahead and queue something else up in San Diego? Actually, I'm curious to know whether or not at Pearl we can build in Atlanta, because everybody is really you know, saying, hey, make sure you have an Atlanta with every carrier, because they're great for the uh, anti-aircraft. So I want to start building up some more Atlantas. There they are right there. We can build them at Pearl. Only takes 24 days, 95 war bonds. We're definitely going to add the upgrade for that. Now those cruisers are going to make it to Midway before I can get my dive bombers out for another run. I'm not entirely sure what's going on over here in Midway right now. I think they're just engaging some of these guys. So I'm not entirely sure what's happening here, why these dive bombers are coming in at sea level. It seemed like a really stupid thing to do because they're all getting shot down. I have no idea what that was about. They came down real low right at the last second and then dropped a bomb in the wrong place. So I don't know if I've got to micromanage them to that degree, but boy, that just did not go the way that it should have at all. I have no idea what was going on there. It seems like these guys are going to do the same thing, so we're going to have to... ...give them some new orders... ...to do this right. Yeah, it looks like for some reason their orders were to go in at 300 meters, and I have no idea what that's about. So let's raise that up. They're still coming in really high. And they're going down. I don't know what's going on here. And my only options are 300 meters and 7781. What is the deal? So I guess maybe I'm missing something here. They also don't seem to be responding to my orders and they're going after the ship that sank. That's weird. They just drop bombs in the middle of the ocean. All right. These guys are obeying my orders. Those ones, for some reason, were glitched out or something. I don't know what that was about. You can see they're at 3,500 meters. They seem to be doing their thing the way that they're supposed to. They're going after one of the ships that hasn't been damaged yet. I think the only one that hasn't been damaged yet. Got you, buddy. Perfect. Perfect. 
So more than half damage on that one now. These guys still have no idea what they're doing. Oh, bombs depleted, okay. Alright, and I think they did too. Oh, we've got one more one more squadron here. That still got their payload, I guess. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm still learning how all this works. Okay, here we go again. And all three of these ships are ready to be sunk. So if we target each one of them, we should be able to do this. Get every squadron targeting a different ship. I think we'll take out the rest of them. Let's see how this goes. This should be the end. I don't know why the Japanese sent these four cruisers out by themselves like this. Maybe they didn't expect that I would have carriers in the area that would be able to do this. Maybe they were just trying to scout out what I had at Midway and thought they could get away with it. Bye bye. That one's gone. Did we miss that guy? Looks like we missed him. Darn it. Did we miss both of the other two? Oh, that's extremely frustrating. I thought for sure I would have had all three of them. They still have a payload? Go back and get this guy. Alright, I guess not. Okay, this time I'm just going to watch on the map and see if they can do this job themselves. Yep, we got them. Alright, enemy fleet destroyed in the North Pacific. We wiped out all four of those cruisers. Let's go ahead and order Task Force 12 in for repair and resupply at Midway. All right, so we got ourselves a little success there, and with it, some war bonds with which we can hopefully purchase some some needed ships. I might go ahead and queue up another Atlanta here if I can in Pearl Harbor. We've also got the Maryland, which is a Colorado-class battleship. Um, 135 war bonds. I don't think I'm going to spend that much to upgrade those guys. All right, we're, we're maxed out on our build queue right now in Pearl Harbor, so we're going to have to probably go build this in San Diego instead. We've got up to six that we can be building in San Diego, so let's get another Atlanta. Build them here. Oh, maybe it's I don't have enough war bonds. Now we can build them for 95. Okay, perfect. All right. So I've gone ahead and merged two of my task forces, Task Force 3 and Task Force 17, into one. Uh, what that's going to allow me to do is get a few more ships around this, this carrier fleet here. Uh, so that's going to now give me uh, a total of, let's see here. I've got two destroyers and a cruiser, the Indianapolis. And we're going to add those to what we already have in this uh, task force here. It's going to give me a pretty formidable force down here in the South Pacific. And we're going to go ahead and send them on a patrol and just see what we might find out there. I actually think since I've got a pretty formidable squadron there, we're going to send them on a raid of the Gilbert Islands. We're going to attack Tarawa. So it's a bit of a bold strategy, but I'm hoping I'm doing this early enough that, well, you know what, maybe, maybe we raid Wake Island instead because that still allows me to protect Midway, which is something I'm kind of concerned about because I know the Battle of Midway uh, happened early in the war here in 1942. So that's obviously if I'm the Japanese kind of my main objective because that gives me a launching off point for attacking Hawaii. So we'll go ahead and raid Wake Island. And uh, it's a pretty substantial carrier force that I've got here. It's got uh, two carriers, three heavy cruisers, two cruisers, two destroyer leaders, seven destroyers. So anything we might run into, I think we ought to be able to handle. 
I forgot we actually have objectives that we've been given by a higher command, and that objective right now is to raid Macon Atoll. So that is what we're going to do. Eventually, we've got to capture all of these various places. I'm trying to figure out, I don't know how to do this. I'm trying to figure out how to separate my task force. I've separated them into squadrons because the Maryland and the Tennessee need to repair. But the Pennsylvania, the Chandler, and the Hovey are ready to go. So I'd like to get them out there uh, and be able to use them. But I've got to figure out how to uh, separate them into different squadrons so I can do that. All right, so apparently we just drag to the right, like so. Any form. At least that's how I did it a second ago. So we, we did get them separated out. So this is now Task Force 1, which we will order to resupply and repair, while Task Force 18 can actually get out here and start doing something. So we're actually going to send them to Midway, I think, for now. All right, now we're just going to see what happens with Task Force 17 on this raid on making a toll. And that'll probably be how we wrap this episode up. Oh boy, we just spotted three carriers, a battle cruiser, a heavy cruiser, a destroyer, a cruiser, and three destroyers up near the Aleutian Islands. What do I do here? Do I send somebody after them? If I do, I leave Midway kind of undefended. Right now, I've got Task Force 12 down there, uh, but they've only got a carrier. A heavy cruiser, cruiser, and a, a destroyer leader. I do have two destroyers and a battleship headed that way. Uh, and we're actually going to probably merge them with this group once they get there. But I don't feel like that's enough. Although with the battleships, maybe I can take on. But that was three carriers, wasn't it? Well, I mean, that's a pretty substantial Japanese force. I guess we're going to have to keep one eye on them and eventually go up and deal with that force, but I'm committed to this raid right now. All right, so they have launched an amphibious assault on this one of my Aleutian Islands up here. I'm not going to get too worked up over that, honestly. I'm more concerned about what it could mean later. Obviously, they could start island hopping, and then it does become a problem. Okay, Task Force 17 requests permission to launch aircraft against making a toll. Let's do this. So we've got a total of 39 dive bombers. I don't know why these last three are so far behind, but We'll let them get a little closer, and then I think we'll join in on the fun, and we'll see if we can issue orders for various targets so we can wipe them out in detail. Okay, so Dog Squadron's going to get there first. I think we're going to go ahead and try to target the anti-aircraft guns first, if at all possible. And then the other squadrons, as they come in, hopefully we'll have an easier time. We should probably also hit these hangars. All right, here we go. They're getting a little spread out here. I'm not sure why that is, but... We've got orders issued to all of this initial squadron. And we'll see how they do. We're going to take out the hangars and hopefully a decent amount of their anti aircraft. And then we've got Easy Squadron and Baker Squadron right behind them. Ooh, boy. Hit it on the way down. All right, so we completed the objective because we got the the raid. Now we got to launch a raid on Tarawa, which is pretty close, and we might just do that while we're at it. Looks like we're doing a pretty good job of wiping out any aircraft installations. I don't know how many we're going to lose in the process. 
That was a pretty good first strike. We took out the hangar. We took out quite a few of his anti-aircraft guns. He's got a few left. We definitely lost some planes. What's this out here? Oh, some torpedo boats. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at Baker Squadron now because they're coming in. And they're very quickly going to be next up here. Let's go ahead and do some more to mess these guys up as best we can. He's still got a couple of anti-aircraft emplacements. So we'll try to take them out. And then we'll start going after the coastal guns. Finish off the control tower. We've already completed the objective, but let's go ahead and mess him up some more. All right, let's see how this does. All right, pretty good, pretty good. All right, we just spotted a squadron of dive bombers from the Japanese Navy right here off Midway, which means there's got to be a carrier force in here somewhere. So that makes me a little bit nervous. I've got a force here, but it's not a real strong one. And we've got additional forces coming that way. We've got two destroyers and a battleship coming here. We've got a light cruiser and a carrier right behind them. Uh, so we're going to get those forces out that way as quick as we possibly can. I'm thinking maybe Task Force 2 is going to have to head that way as well, but let's go ahead and get them refit and refueled at Pearl first. We might need to call off our raid on Tarawa in favor of going up to try and find what this force is that's in this area, but maybe we just need to know more first. Okay, there's definitely a raid on Midway happening right now. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what this is about. So we've got a bunch of Val dive bombers coming at us. A lot of anti-aircraft fire going up at them. I've got a carrier in the area. Maybe we need to scramble some fighters. Let's see what we can do about these guys. It's nighttime, so that certainly makes it interesting. You can see the searchlights doing their best to try and find what's happening here. We have Task Force 12 right here, so um, they've actually got some squadrons up in the air, so um, hopefully they'll engage these guys, and we'll see what happens. We've got a bunch of wildcats going up. Let's go ahead and uh, go into the combat screen and see what we can find out about this. All right, the wildcats are about to engage. All right, boys, let's see what you got. These are all vowels. I don't see any zeros anywhere. That's really interesting. Come on, catch up to them. We might at the very least get a glimpse of the force that they're with, although I don't think they are going to get that. Come on, boys. Are they disengaging already? No, they're going after these other valves. No, they are disengaging. No, don't do that. Take out a few more of them. Beautiful. I had to 
speed up a little too high there. But we just shot down a bunch of those guys. All right, well, if nothing else, oh, wow, we've got a lot of war bonds available now, too. We've got to go deal with that. So I'm going to wrap it up right there. Obviously, we're in the middle of combat, but I, I really want to get some feedback. I'm playing these in small chunks because I know I've got a lot to learn. And I know that every step of the way, as I do little things, you guys are going to have some great feedback as, to, as far as what I need to be aware of. Obviously, there's some kind of Japanese fleet out here, and we don't know what it is yet. I've got a lot of war bonds to spend, so I want to spend those wisely. So use the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. We're at uh, February of 1942. Long way to go in this war, and I want to make sure that I'm in the best position possible to win it. So use that comment section below. Drop a like if you want to see more of this, and uh, I think we're going to probably settle into an every other day with this campaign because it seems really popular. So I want to continue to play that and get that content out to you regularly. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you again soon.